G'day everyone, uh, my name is Nick Bowditch. Today I want to talk about fear uh, and you know how it affects me and, and what it does to me and, and the things that I don't love about it really and, and how, it's, uh, how it's changed me over years and how I've kind of tried to confront some of the things that I'm fearful of at least and, uh, and be better for it. Um, I think that there's, uh, let me just get my thing here, I think there's a, a big difference between rational fear and irrational fear for me. Rational fears are, you know, I don't love snakes and I don't love spiders and I don't really understand why anyone would. I think everyone should have a rational fear of these things. But, you know, that sort of is a is an everyday kind of rational fear that, you know, those things can hurt you, those things can kill you and I, I think that's a good reason to be fearful of them. But I also have some irrational fears too, you know. I, for instance, I have a thing about shower curtains I can hardly even say the words. Um, you know, there's a lot of germs on shower curtains and there's, they're a freaky thing. It's not right. But, you know, that's something I get really fearful of and I, and, I, and I don't love. When I walk into a hotel room or something like that and there's a shower curtain there, all I can think of is the thousands of people who've showered on the other side of that and, and left their gunk on it. But, you know, that sort of thing is irrational. Like, those things are probably clean. Those things are probably not going to kill me. But I still am very fearful of it. Ironically enough... I do a lot of things which would cause other people a lot of fear, you know, um, that I'm not scared of anymore, even that I wasn't ever fearful of, like public speaking, like doing this, like creating content that people can critique and pick on and pick to pieces. You know, that, that would scare the shit out of some people. It doesn't bother me. I can stand up in front of 2,000 people at a conference or an event and, and, and give a keynote presentation. That stuff doesn't bother me. But, you know, put me in front of a, a smaller group and I don't love that you know, six or eight people in a boardroom and that freaks me out. So, you know, there's, there's, there's different things that I'm fearful of and fear affects me differently. But today I just want to concentrate on the things that fear takes from me, right? And, and so the first thing that fear does to me, which I don't love, is it makes me a bit of a jerk. Like I can, I'm always telling people, you know, don't let Somebody who is covering their fear by attacking you for investigating your, your curiosity, don't let that be a thing in your head. Don't let them affect you. But I can be that guy that, you know, I, because someone's doing something that I'm fearful of, I can sit in front of, you know, um, the voice on TV or whatever and pick people to pieces for, for getting up and having a crack. But I would never do that, you know. And so, so that's me going, well, I'm fearful of that, so I'm going to put shit on you. For having a go, you know, and, and I, it makes me a bit of a jerk and I can belittle people and uh, belittle ideas and even belittle businesses and, and stuff like that because it picks on them for attacking their curiosity when it's actually something that I'm fearful of. That's not something I'm very proud of, but that's something that fear does to me. Secondly, then, is I can be a fear spreader too. I can influence fear um, because, you know, I have people who follow my stuff or whatever. I can, I can put out something that I'm fearful of and potentially affect other people to be fearful of the same thing. Or I can pick on somebody's idea, do that at scale, and then have a whole lot of other people pick on, on that poor bastard as well for their idea. So that's not something I'm very proud of either. And I have to be really kind of cognizant of that fact that I can, that I can be a jerk and that I can spread jerk um, pretty easily. And the third and most important thing for me that fear takes from me and then you might be able to relate to this too, is that it stops me from being everything I can be, right? None of us really know what we're capable of, you know? And none of us really know how much you can cop, how much you can take, and how much you can push through. But fear is that constant fucking voice that says, stop now, don't do it, it's going to hurt, it's going to make you look foolish, you're going to fail, Whatever it might be, that little voice in your head, if, if in my head anyway, I should speak from the eye, in my head it's constant. That imposter syndrome is constant. You know, don't do it, don't try it, don't put yourself out there. They're going to laugh, they're going to know today's the day, they're going to find out you're full of shit, whatever it might be. And so that stops me then from potentially going forward and achieving everything I can today and in my life, this week, this month, this year, the rest of my life. So... I hate that about fear, and that's why I've tried to, to tackle it as head-on as, as I can. And quite literally, with my fear of boxing, was 
to tackle it head on, to get punched in the face. And, and to know that, you know, I can get through that training, I can get through that stuff, I can even get through losing my first fight, which I did last week. And not, the world hasn't stopped, the world doesn't collapse, nothing, you know, nothing's hurting me, I'm not dead, I'm not on fire. You know, I was fearful of it and I've confronted that and now I'm not fearful of it. I'm really fearful of being 0-2, I really want to win the next one and be 1-1, one one, but... You know, that's not a, it's not because it's a fear. It's not a phobic fear. It's just like, fuck, I'd really like to win. So, you know, I, I think if, if I can get caught up in that moment where fear becomes the thing that stops me from achieving my potential, then that sucks. And I really don't want that to be the case. So, and that might be something you, 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 uh, you can relate to. If it is, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Um, even if there's a fellow sh a shower curtain phobia person out there i'd love to know that i'm not the only one but um yeah i hope that you uh, find your kindness today strive through the fear like break through that fear if it's stopping you from being everything you can be and uh and uh, have a great day wherever you are um thanks a lot for listening see you soon